how you guys doing this is alex with auto key security services today we are working on this buick lacrosse it's a no start it has it has a defective ecm <clears throat> excuse me I'm walk you right over to where i have the original ecu hooked up on the bench with IO terminal I already hit connect the ECU is connected and it's waiting for commands so right now where I want to go first I want to read the EEPROM oh this is a it's a GM E39 ECU GM E39 ECM All right, I'm connected already, so I'm going to hit read emulated EEPROM Okay, it read it already That's the memory right there I'm going to save this I'm gonna go to desktop, create a new folder. I keep copies of, uh, of all my uh, customers. Or just, you know, in the future, if I need, uh, if I need to do any other work on the car, I have <clears throat> the backup. Right now I'm just going to put Philly E39, I'll update the file later with the VIN number and all that. So now I'm going to save this as EEPROM and then put GM E39 ECM EEPROM. Why am I? Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Okay, I gotta gotta go to save it. I'm gonna go back in the PC. I mean desktop. And I just put the the new folder there. For the E39. I'm gonna save it as GM E39 ECM. Prom. I'm gonna go ahead and save that now that I have saved that I can go back to tool select now I'm gonna read the flash I'm gonna go ahead just reading the flash now it takes a little bit I don't want to do no cuts so you can see the whole process but I'm gonna pause it until it's done reading the flash because I don't want to have you guys just looking at the screen forever. I'll be right back. Okay, it's about to finish right now. You can see the little bar. And now it says device waiting for command. Flash read, reading flash okay. I'm gonna go back to the memory dump. This is the flash that it just read. bottom Let's scroll through it you see that's the data that was read you can see the original VIN number and everything for the car right there along with part numbers and stuff like that and flash version I'm going to save this in the same folder as as the EEPROM, I'm going to rename this one Flash. I'm going to save it. Okay, those two are saved. I'm going to go back on my desktop and find that folder. I have so much stuff on here. Where did it put it? Where did it put it? 
we buy sort by date modified. <coughs> this back over here Philly E39 that's the one I just created just now I'm gonna rename it again because I forgot to include Philly E39 original and this is the original information right here uh, let me close the program hold on try again okay let me rename it now I'm gonna go back to the program which I have that right here IO terminal and that IO terminal you would use multi tool I'm using version 53 <coughs> Now, give me one minute. I'm gonna wire up the other ECM and uh, continue process. Continue the process, and then we're gonna walk over to the car and start it. This this computer did not start the car. Uh, the starter relay circuit is defective in this ECM. Okay, I'm currently reading the information from the donor. And the donor ECM, I know it looks kind of messed up. That's what the, the owner of the car brought me. So I'm reading the information off the donor. I'm going to save it. I always save it. Donor and original. And I write, I write the original to the donor after I backed up both. Just in case. Just in case there's some, some kind of problem in the programming and I have to go in through boot mode. I... You know, I have the original information. It's currently reading. You see the little bar graph moving. Reading flash. I'll be back momentarily once I am writing the new information to it. Okay, as you can see, I have the uh, the donor files. That's the donor ECM. I opened up EBDI Pro, hold on. No, I was not trying to open that. Let me shut this down. You can see I have the donor and original. So I'm gonna go back into IO terminal. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna open the original. Now that I, ha I have already saved the donor, I'm gonna go back over here. No, why am I trying to save? Hit the wrong button, sorry. Open. I'm gonna open the original flash now. Original flash I've just opened it up the original flash file now I'm just gonna hit right and PC flash you're gonna see the process start over there I'm just gonna click it you're gonna see yes I want to do this operation and you see how it starts erasing it And then it's starting to write. It's going to take a moment, so I'll be back once it's close to finishing or when it's finished programming. i got to walk away for a second and do something else. Okay, I'm back. It's just finishing up. About to. It's going to switch right there momentarily. Unless it has to go for a whole nother... Uh, sometimes, I don't think it... Okay, yeah, it says device waiting for correct commands. 
right in flash okay now I'm going I'm going to proceed and open the uh, the original EEPROM and I'm gonna leave this without cutting it because this this writes really fast come back a little bit right immediate EEPROM I'm gonna hit OK and we're gonna see how fast this goes you see it already wrote the EEPROM so now I write I always write the flash and the EEPROM together because a long time ago I had a when I just wrote the EEPROM I had like a software incap incapability like it didn't want to work right so now I just always write the flash and the EEPROM so guys that's the whole process of cloning and writing the ECM of GM E39 I'm gonna come back when the car is running I'm gonna go walk over and install a computer first I'm gonna clean this computer up some then I'm gonna go install it and turn the car on and I'll have you guys back over there with me okay I'm back here I've installed it I cleaned it out with some air I'm gonna just put some air take all the dust off of it He started right up first try. Whew. I'm out of breath because I had to run back and forth. <coughs> okay, so the car has started. I'm gonna put the well, the car didn't start with that anything. You can see that I got it turned it up, and now the car is running. This is originally a no start because the starter circuit from the fuse box terminal terminal 85 or 86 from the starter relay which one's the starter relay number two terminal 85 or 86 I forget which one it is the one that sends positive power to the relay was no good the wire was intact the bias voltage was not there. It had the ground, but not the 2.5 bias voltage that you're supposed to have. And I'm going to call the ECM and program it. And it started right up. Thank you for watching. Auto Key Security Services.